हेलो स्टूडेंट हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर ऑल वेल इन यर हाउस आई एम संगीता जाधव फ्रॉम गोखले एजुकेशन सोसायटी जे डी सी बिटको इंग्लिश मीडियम हाईस्कूल नाशिक रोड सो टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू लर्न लेसन नंबर फोर युनिट वन सो स्टूडेंट एवरीबडी लाइक्स फ्रूट्स there are many fruits that grown in india so you may also like different type of fruits i also like uh, many fruits so student there are many fruits that grow in india some of them may like bananas some of them may like mangoes some of them may like pineapples so there is also one fruit strawberry it's very short but very sweet fruit so student today we are going to learn a new poem strawberry this poem contains only two stanza the poem is very sweet but also very small so first of all we will i will uh, read the poem then i will underline the difficult words then you take out your notebooks and write the meaning then i will explain the poem so student we will read the poem now and then i will give you the meanings of the difficult words and then both the stanza i will explain you line by line so student ready to read the poem we will read the poem now Let's poem number four. Strawberries, strawberries that in gardens grow are plump and juicy fine, but sweeter far as wise men know. Spring from the woodland wine. Second stanza. No need for bowl or silver spoon, sugar or spice or cream. has the wild berry plucked in june beside a trickling stream so student first i will give you the difficult words then we will explain you the poem line by line okay ready the first difficult word underline first stanza plum p l u m p underline the difficult word plum second second uh, difficult word wine third difficult word pluck and the last difficult word is trickling the meanings of four words are given on the board now student the meaning of the plum is pleasantly fat round in now student the meaning of plum is big or fat second meaning wine a creeping plant that grows up or over things now we will write the third meaning spice the meaning of the spice is a substance that made from a plant and the last meaning is trickling is a flowing slowly so student have you written all the four meanings now can we start the poem explaining so we will start the poem one by one line explaining so student you i want to tell you more about strawberries strawberries are red in color and heart shaped fruit strawberries are rich in vitamin c iron and other minerals they are also used as a filling for pastries cakes 
and ice creams so student you know where the strawberries grow in india 80% strawberries grow in india and it grows in maharashtra and seasons being maharashtra are from october to october and november and also april and may some of which are imported from california in the month of june are planted in nurseries in place like why so student i am reading the first stanza and you listen carefully strawberries that in gardens grow are plum and you see fine but sweeter far as wise men know spring from the woodland vine so in this poem the poet is making a comparison between the strawberries that grow in the garden and strawberries that grow in the woodland that means in the woods near the stream near the river so the student the difference between the garden strawberries and the woodland strawberries are as follow strawberries grow in the garden are big juicy and fine whereas strawberries grow in the woods are particularly known as for its aroma that means for its juicy texture second strawberries are plum in shape garden strawberries are plum in shape same as woodland strawberries strawberries grown here are sweet same strawberries uh, grow in the woodland are also very sweet understood student so we will start now second stanza so student we will start the second stanza no need for bowl or silver spoon sugar or spice or cream has the wild berry plucked in june beside a trickling stream so as per the poet to each to eat such a delicious fruit no need to have bowl or silver spoon rather one should be like a wise man who knows that strawberries grown on vines near the trickling stream here stream means near river side so they are much sweeter because that grows in the month of the june hence we can have directly eaten we can eat directly no need to add sugar so student we have finished the poem i hope you understood the poem so first i will give you the rhyming words from the poem from the first stanza we are having two rhyming words underline now the first rhyming word grow and no the spelling is g r o w n o so the first rhyming word is grow and no second fine and wine from the second stanza spoon and june and the last one cream and stream i hope you must have noted the rhyming student we will go ahead with the homework question number 1 learn and read the poem two times question number 
read the poem and answer the following the first question which are the two different places where strawberries grow the first answer is the two different places where strawberries grow are in the garden and beside the trickling stream now the second question what are the two different ways of eating strawberries strawberries the two different ways of eating strawberries are by using bowl or silver spoon without adding sugar spice or cream and the second way of eating strawberry is that you can eat directly after being plumb now student third question which strawberries are plumb and juicy the answer is strawberries that in gardens grow are plumb and juicy question number 4 which strawberries are sweeter the answer is the strawberries that grow beside the trickling stream are sweeter and the last question how old you like to eat your strawberries this answer you have to write by your own so student we have to do the activity of the poem question number 3 listen carefully i will read the question and you have to find out the answer and write in your notebook the first question is find out when and where we get strawberries in maharashtra while explaining the poem i have told you where you get strawberries in maharashtra so write the names of the places where the strawberries grow in maharashtra question number 2 make a list of your favorite fruit or vegetable and write it in your notebook which fruits you like write at least 10 name of the fruits and 10 name of your vegetables i hope you have understood the poem you have enjoyed the poem while uh, teaching the poem write the homework in your notebook and do the activity which i had given to you thank you